In this easy After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make this amazing looking particle background animation and this tutorial is super useful because actually making a particle animation is quite difficult with all plugins, but here's a really simple and amazing way, so let's just go right into it. I'll make a new composition and just hit OK. And let's first of all add a solid for the background and let's just give it a dark blue color for this example. And then let's add another solid which should be white at the beginning, where we will now apply the particle effect. So let's select this layer and look for the most important effect, which is the CC ball action effect, and just apply it. And now you can see nothing changed really, so we have to play with a few settings. So first of all, let's put in a high value in here, or actually just a little bit higher value, like 7 for example. And now we can see we get some particles, but as of now, they look kind of stupid. So let's decrease the grid spacing a bit to something like 3 and let's also massively decrease the ball size to something like 12. And now as you can see, actually get a lot of particles, but they are yeah, just yeah, a few points and don't look really good yet, so we have to animate them. And this is quite easy. First of all, let's yeah, put in a twist angle, something like 240 degrees or 250, something like that. And now we can already see this looks good. And obviously you can play with it a bit, but I think I yeah, will just go with the value that I use in the example, which is 240, but feel free to use whatever you like. And now we can also make it moving by animating the rotation setting. So let's go to the beginning of our animation and put in a keyframe by just clicking this. And then let's go to the end and increase this value. And now you can see this will just rotate. We can just put in a lot of rotations, whatever you like. And if we will play this now, you can see that this moves. And this is just super cool actually. But we can also see that these particles are white and basically don't have any kind of texture. So they're just everywhere in here. And in the example, you could see that they had like darker spots and more glowing spots and it just looks more cool. So let's actually do this real quick. So for this, we can apply the fretful noise effect. Just put it in here. And now we can see actually we get some kind of texturing. But in order to move it um, with, the, with the particles and not just be on top of everything, we have to make sure it's above the ball action effect. And with this, this looks quite cool. But again, we could adjust a few settings like increasing the contrast. The complexity could be the same, but yeah, this should be quite fine. We could also increase the scale. So open up the transform setting and put in something higher in here, like 300 maybe. So we, these spots will be bigger and not that small, or maybe 500 even. And well, yeah, let's go with 600. And I think this looks super cool already. And we can also, if we want, animate these this texture on the particle, so the darker and lighter spots, by animating or keyframing the evolution setting. So again, let's go to the beginning of the animation, put a keyframe in here, then go to the end and just bring this up to whatever you like. And as you can see, the texture will be moving, which just makes it, makes it look way more realistic and yeah, just gives us a better result. And yeah, this is good, but as you can see, the, the particles are a bit dark and don't have any color. So let's add a tritonic bed, just like this. And now we can put in the color that we want in the midtones. Let's just go with a nice blue and just hit OK. And if you also don't want fully white spots like here, you could also put in a really light version of your color into the highlights. And this is amazing, actually. I think this looks super cool, but maybe you think that these, um, these oh, let's do it a bit brighter, particles are too small or maybe not that visible enough. So we could actually select this layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl T. And now these particles will be more pronounced. And we could also round this up by giving it a glow effect. So for this, we can just duplicate this again and just select one of these preferably the lower one and let's just add an alert with this mm. uh, Gaussian blur just like this 
and now we can put in a high value in here like 400 and now we get this amazing glow maybe if we want this glow to be even stronger we could open up the ball action thing and increase the size something like 20 but i think that's too much so let's just uh, stick with 12 like the example and yeah another trick is maybe that you can see that the the really dark spots in here which are made by the fractal noise are actually black and we don't want that so we have to or we should um, select all these layers in here and change the mode from normal to add and now we can see this even will be brighter and look more amazing and this is exactly what we want and we already done here sometimes you can see that the edges on the right or on the left are like cut off so if you want to change that we should select all these layers and press s on the keyboard to increase the scale and then just put in something slightly higher than 100 like 110 percent and now everything should be in frame and yeah that's it already i hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time